Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome to another episode here of Quick Street Corner for the Farm Simulator Network Play Experience. And what are we going to be looking at today on episode 10? We're going to be looking at one of the many markets. Not the global market, not the stock market, not the in-game market. But we're going to be looking at a couple other markets under the market menu. Right now. Before we dive right in, let me just get right through it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below if you enjoy the content coming out of here of Quick Street Corner. Especially so far, it's mostly all been FSM because FSM has been ruling the life right now. But today we're going to be looking at this market section here. There's a couple different markets. You know, there's the global market here we're not going to be taking a look at. Or under here, there's the stock market. Nope, we are going to go under market. We're going to spend some bales. And we're going to show a couple different things at is in these four different markets here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start off with the in-game store here. This is just basically, so if you buy equipment on your server, you have to come here and register. This is basically all it is. So, what I would add this in because I'm on server 14. Check which category I'm in. I do I've never added my chainsaw, so let's go ahead and do that. Still finalize the order. Bam. Finalize the order. Since it's an order as a farm on your home server, you may now make the purchase immediately. I've already made the purchase. They've done an equipment wipe, so I have to actually go add all my. A little bit of a pain, but this is alpha product, so you get. That's all that is for the in game store. Bales, barns, and beyond. This is where you're going to spend all these golden bales up here. And you can see I got 90. Let's spend a few of them right now. So in there, there's a whole bunch of different things. There's new arrivals. Basically, every month there's a cool little collectible that you can get. The little Easter Bunny or the Bunny Day if you're playing Animal Crossing. We're gonna go right down the list here. Different things you can do for your options, uh, for your count settings. You can show off all your different collectibles here. Go down. We're gonna do. Get your collectibles. We already talked about that. Every month, different one. Mod voting. So every player can uh, submit a mod that they would like to have added to FSN. What happens then is once it goes through the ticketing system, it gets added to this bales and beyond, and it goes up for voting. So everyone has to vote with one golden bale, and at the end of the month, they pick the top voted mods which then gets put into a server and tested by the mod community here on FSN. And then if it meets the standards, then it will be added to the game. So actually we're going to, there was one I want to add. I want, I've been wanting to add this one, but I don't know. I think there was an animal one we're gonna move into. Like the next page, there's like four pages of mods. Custom mailboxes, no. Freaking hate mailboxes. We're gonna go. I think it was. We're gonna go with the cow barn large. Nice indoor enclosure for the cows. We're gonna vote on that one. I don't know if I'll ever use it, but we're just gonna do it. Post one seat. That takes one golden bale out. We voted for that cow barn. Farmer swag. Nothing going on in there right now. Server stuff. Going on. Site perks is where it's at. So before we can show off your collectibles and your profile gallery. And profile. So I have already paid for it, so I get to show off all my collectibles. I have not got the April donor pack or the April actually I do to get the April mod pack. I have to find where's my bunny rabbit. Alright, we'll figure that out then. This is a huge one right here. I've kind of Overlook this on-demand audit. So randomly, every farm will go through an audit process. Someone will log into your farm, see how many loans you have, what your cash flow is, and then they update your records, which then, in turn, could modify your property tax. For a couple of years on FSN, my property tax was extremely high because I noticed someone had my in-game funds in the millions, which it was not. 
Um, so I went from $70,000 a year property tax. I fixed that with an on-demand audit, and I'm only paying around $30,000 now. So live and learn. But now I went looking earlier today, and I noticed, I don't know how this happened, at negative $2.8 million in-game cash. That means on your full game. I know that's not true. And this could help me out in my property tax, but we're going to get fix that right now. I need my records to be legit. So we're going to spend another three golden bales. I'm going to put out a contract. So let's go into the contract section here. Fresh. Go up here somewhere. That's for the weather. Okay, it should have showed up by now. Right, maybe in a little bit it'll show up. Oh, we did spend it. You redeemed. Oh, wait, I know why. Inventory. There it is. Let's activate it now. Ah, we can look under here. Beficent Revenue Services. So someone's going to get $2,000 just to come in and audit Quick Seed and Feed. So maybe by the time this video is done, someone will accept that because that's easy money. back into the market here collect some Easter egg bunnies other uh, what are there site perks you have your marketing bot so this is notifications you can send out to discord on I think it's every couple hours so if you want to advertise like if you have an in-game business or if you're a streamer and you want to promote be a self promoter and you know, either set up for a three day, 12 day, 30 day, and seven day. You could also change your name with your golden bales. You could also do, I don't think late labor hours has not been implemented yet. And you can buy prize boxes, which at five golden bales, and you're getting prize boxes all the time. That's, I don't think many people golden bales would buy prize boxes. backgrounds as well so you can have you have to zoom out a little bit here so you can actually see so in the back of your website you have you can barely see it because but there's a farmer and his dog in the background actually change that to one of these beautiful screenshots or three golden bills we're not going to do that on this this one because I'm just going to stick with the default I can't really see it anyway because I usually have it zoomed in like this so we're gonna leave that big but you have that option now we're gonna go into we're gonna have some fun Dodge and saves uh, the breakdowns these three wrenches here this is a new feature that's going to be coming out with the advanced auto mechanic uh, meta game that's going to be released soon right now we're going to buy a chaos system wealth distribution egg so what this is it's an evil egg. It could do great good. Um, the egg will magically spirit goods, funds, or assets from one business to another. It has no discretion who for who it sends it to. It has no discretion who the target is and will fly blindly until it finds a giver and a taker. Use at your own risk. So we're going to do it. So what happens is so it will show up back underneath the inventory. Activate it and I put it up here, so we're going to click on that. The Kraken. 
egg has been unleashed and it has cloned wealth from the tractor store, the heavy iron farms, and in the sum of $2,500, right? This time. I've seen it go almost close to $100,000. I think it, I'm sure it's gone over a couple times. That's the chaos egg. That's pretty much it for the bales, barns, and beyond. Next up, the player market, which is basically other players selling off the stuff that they've gotten from bales, barns, and beyond, or through monthly perks. So as you can see here, we got some people, man, some people are trying to sell these gift prize boxes at a really high price. If your monthly collectibles, people can sell those because you end up collecting numerous ones over the months. And these people just kind of pay for them. They're collectibles and you can show them off. Now they, the longer you hold on to them, the more valuable they could become, especially with all the new players coming into FSN. Um, light perks. Not to sight perks. But it was. There was one, there's, there's leases. Here we go. Premium lease vouchers. These are actually 4,500. Have to see. So you can actually use these lease vouchers in the actual game instead of paying for, oops, instead of paying for the actual lease of, say, you want to lease a large tractor for this season. This is your premium lease voucher. So instead of paying money for it, you just turn in this voucher. They will drop off the equipment at your home server, and voila! I think you have it for three to four days or something like that have to see what the total value is but I think I might end up picking that one up I already do have one premium lease voucher I'm holding on to when I start doing some cotton I want to end the video uh, looking at world market this has not been released yet it's something that's gonna be coming this is a another portion of FSN so if you think you spend enough time on actual farm simulator 19 in-game stuff Wait till this stuff starts coming out. Ons has this whole meta where it's going to be just farming on the website. There's going to be animal breeding on the website. So your employers are going to be thrilled when they look at the firewall logs and 70% of your web traffic is just going to be on farmsimulatornetwork.info where you're going to end up buying warehouses, selling vats. You're going to be making beer. So you're going to end up taking your crops that you make in-game. You're going to sell them the other players that are doing this or you can transfer them over here I don't know this is there's a lot of stuff that is going to go on here it's going to be very very extensive it's going to be very interesting to take a look at once Hans gets it all ironed out well that's about going to wrap it up here as we are staring at some sheep ass over this way I got to take care of my animals here for the night so don't forget to give a like subscribe Give a comment down below if you have any questions about the market or how excited you are for the world market meta portion of FSN that's coming out. Till next time, you guys on the flippity flip. I don't know. We got to think of some good ending here. If you if you have a good ending saying for me, why don't you put that in the comment down below? Until next time, peace out. <laughs>